What up everyone? Welcome to StackDMX.com Instagram Live and YouTube Live. Today we're going to do an explain and review on the Odyssey Chainbreaker. Like always, we want you guys to enter our contest. We just hit 2,500 subscribers or 25,000 or 2,500 subscribers and we're giving away a free uh, parts package from Stranger. And at 5,000 subscribers, we're giving away a free bicycle retailed at $289.95 to one of you lucky viewers. Um, hang tight. We'll tell you how you can like this video, comment on it, uh, turn on your notification bells, uh, and share this video to uh, ent be entered to win this contest. And then we'll tell you a little bit more rules and stuff like that at the end. So, uh, yeah, let's get down to it. So, I have a lot of questions and different things about these Odyssey chain breakers and I got a few tips and stuff like that to help you out to be able to show you where you guys can buy these things um, what these chain breakers can do and how you can prevent yourself from breaking a chain breaker so uh, yeah let's get to it so first off uh, everybody knows what a chain is so a chain is the device that actually makes your bike move so it's an it's a actual link that connects to each other to go around your front sprocket and your rear sprocket and as you pedal the bicycle it makes it go. So one of the big failures in bicycles is when your chain breaks and that thing's no longer con connected so then you then have to scoot it around which means like push your foot down and stuff like that. So uh, what, what Odyssey did was create a chain breaker that's pretty cool and that could basically put those chains back together and uh, get you rolling again. So um, yeah, here they are. So these, these chain breakers come in a black and a chrome or silver, or I think they call it nickel plated. And uh, these retail for $12.95. Uh, $12 and uh, you can pick them up from our website at stackdmx.com. And uh, yeah, let's go into it, show you little features and what these things gotta do, you know I mean, have. So I'll show you a little bit quick thing so I got two cameras going so I'll, I'll kind of switch off this is, the, this is the chrome and the black one I'll switch it up for you so we got we got two cameras going around so they got everything you need to uh, put your chain together so yeah so I got one open already so you can check it out so all right first off the biggest question uh, everybody wants to know is does these fit a regular chain and do these fit half link chains and I'm going to let you know that yes they do they fit regular chains and they fit half link chains and they also fit uh, the Odyssey keychain but hang tight out as well because I'm going to tell you how you not to break this chain breaker because everybody ends up buying the chain breaker and breaking it you know I mean first go or borrowing somebody's chain breaker and end up breaking it so I'll kind of help you out with this and this one's pretty notorious for breaking so I'll give you a little tip about that how not to break it so this fits um, race chains which is 3 30 second chain it's slightly thinner than regular chains and the reason why is uh, it's kind of like a road bike or a mountain bike style chain and that's to reduce weight and most of the time sprockets are machined to a 3 30 second um, width so those chains are really really narrow this chain breaker fits that um, it also fits an inch and an eighth chain. Those are the regular uh, bicycle chains. Now the distance of the chain is usually a four ten uh, distance on on the actual chain. Um, actually, don't don't hold me to that. Uh, yeah, four four ten is like the most popular um, style. But actually, I can't remember off the top of my head. But a regular chain, like a four ten chain, is like the the eighth inch wide chain, and this will fit that as well. It'll fit the half link chains, uh, you know, I mean, anything from uh, Primo, Colt, uh, Cinema, uh, volume chains, uh, you know, I mean, DK, uh, trying to think of them all, uh, Shadow Conspiracy, both the, the Interlock V2 chain and as well as the Supreme chain. So, and then as well as the Odyssey keychain. And it's also got a look of little, little piece right here. Dang, this thing's on there. Pretty tight. But, uh, yeah, it's got a, it's got this little little piece right here for the I don't know if you can see it, I'm trying to bust it out. For the Odyssey keychain, that little adapter on there is for the Odyssey keychain. So yeah, basically it's got 
threads in here, the threaded interior here. You could hold this with the crescent wrench um, and then be able to tighten it down. It's got a cool little handle with a little bit of neuro on there. And this thing threads into the actual body of it. So you can remove it, put it into like a little small tool bag or something like that. Let's say you have a rear saddle bag or, or you know I mean, like one of the bike bags that, that go on your frame and you don't want it ever, you know I mean, sticking out all crazy and poking a hole in your bag. It, it is able to break down and uh, get a lot, a lot smaller. So what's cool about the, these uh, chain breakers is that, you know I mean, it's solid black, this is black oxidized. So it's kind of a flat black and then it's got Odyssey logos printed on it. So if you can see there, see there. And then this one also has got a laser etched on, on the Odyssey on the front right there. That one's on there. And all the logos are the same thing on, on all of them. They just look a little bit different. So let's flip it around. And then as well on the front. And then this one's got it on the front right there. So same thing on all of them. All the sides. So. I mean, looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, might have, I might have to go grab a wrench. This, this thing's already pretty tight. So. Um, this thing is on here really really good um yeah i didn't come prepared for that so um i'll probably go grab a, ran a wrench or anything like that real quick just so so hang tight let me grab a wrench and pull that thing off they're not that tight so this it's got also got this little other piece that that backs out and then allows you to hold the chain so pretty cool on there and then it's got these little rubber handles so it's coated in rubber right here so that you know I mean it's a little bit easier on your hand another thing is is that a lot of people don't notice this but it's got a little rubber cap on the other end I'm gonna try to back up to this a little bit so it's got a little rubber cap on the end and then on the other inside of it, it's got a, another pin. This is kind of cool because you can replace the existing pin on here. And, uh, yeah, keep it going. So the way you would do that, I'm going to pull it back a little bit. Some of you guys might be able to see it a little bit better. But uh, it's got this little screw-in piece, and the pin comes out, and you can replace it. The number thing you want to do is, not tighten this thing down too much um, well the actual when you're breaking the chain you don't want to bottom out too much or go too far because then you'll break this little thing then your pins gonna dangle in there and you're gonna lose the pin so uh, yeah so I think a lot of people do that um, another thing is is that is that when they're when people are using this chain breaker I think a lot of them don't realize that this this piece has to actually back down all the way and has to actually like grip the chain so when you tighten it tighten it down it actually grips the chain and holds it so what you want to do is you want to put the chain in here you want to you want to tighten this down so it doesn't go anywhere and then tighten this up if you don't if you um, don't tighten that down and you just just stick the chain on this side of the the actual chain breaker, it's going to actually push against here and break these little little fins off of here. So that's a big no-no. You want to back this out, put your chain in there, tighten it back up, and with it holding there, then you want to tighten it down and use that to, to tighten down your, your chain. Also, too, you want to make sure that the pin is straight going in there, pushing that, that pin down, and that'll keep your pin from bending. Also, too, um, I notice a lot of times on the chains, it's kind of like a, a little, I guess, you, how would you say, um, like a little peanut shape. So when you put the chain back together, make sure that you can see perfectly straight down, like the hole is both sides of the, the chain. So sometimes instead of being perfectly parallel, one will kick sideways like that, and you want to get some pliers or you know, I mean, something to, to push those pins straight before you actually put this pin through it. Because what it'll do is it'll hit the side of the plate be, uh, next to the hole and actually ant hill that little plate and cause uh, I mean your plate to malfunction then your pin will go through and you'll see like a little ring come off of like 
you know what I mean, off of the, the actual chain, and if the little tiny ring comes off, that means like it widened the hole for the actual plate, and then your your pin of your, your chain kind of just slots in there, and then it's just a matter of time till that, that piece of the chain ends up being right where you give it the most torque on your on your frame, and that's what causes your, your chain to fail. So it'll just split and end up, you know what I mean, just breaking your chain, helping you bust your knee, stuff like that. So um, try to pay attention to those things, those will help you out, you know what I mean, um, putting on your chain. But yeah, most, you know what I mean, overall this chain breaker is pretty dope. Um, we definitely suggest it, and um, you know, we've used it a few times, but we got like another one that's a little bit more professional, but this is perfect for carrying in your bag, carrying in your backpack, you know what I mean, just, just in case you get stranded or you do a sprocket bash or something like that and break your chain. So uh, yeah, it'd be very cool to, to have this chain breaker in your bag and uh, help you get, get going. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Odyssey chain breaker. You can find it at stackbmx.com. Pick pick one of these up. They ship out the next business day. You, um, if you're you order something fifty dollars or more, uh, we we give you free shipping. So there's no code needed or anything like that. Just throw as much as you can into your cart till you max out at a, at fifty bucks, and then uh, you'll get free shipping. You don't have to enter any code or anything like that. So we make it real easy for you guys. But um, yeah, um, yeah, this is the Odyssey chain breaker. Good job over there. Odyssey for making a pretty cool chain breaker at a reasonable price. These are definitely better than those inexpensive ones that you get from all the other bike shops and stuff like that. So definitely spend a few bucks. I think the other ones are like 10 bucks. These are three bucks more and you get a way slicker chain breaker. So uh, yeah, killer job over there. So if you guys want to enter that contest for the stranger parts package, we're giving away a, a, a pair of grips, a seat, and uh, pedals and or actually no pedals uh, and tires and uh, all you got to do is like this video turn on your notification bells subscribe to our channel uh, turn on your notifications share this video and then leave us a comment uh, in, in the comment section uh, why you like our videos why you don't like our videos what other stuff that we can do reviews on uh, any suggestions that you think that we could use here at the shop to help you guys and um, you know what I mean just anything that's on your mind let us know let us know that you're watching it and um, just help us out, make better videos. So that's our job, and uh, we're gonna try to do our best for you. So shoot us some some tips and tricks, and uh, yeah, we'll do a little bit better for you. Notice that we just got a little new little studio right here, so it looks pretty cool. We just built it the other day, um, but uh, pretty hyped on it. And uh, expect us to uh, drop some more videos about more products and stuff like that. If there's any products that you see back here that you guys want us to review, you know, we shot us shot them out and let us know that. You know, I mean, I want to check out that product or I want to know a little bit more about that. So, um, yeah, if you do that and, um, you know, what I mean, subscribe to our channel, that'll enter you into winning the Stranger Parts package. And then when we hit uh, 5,000 subscribers, we're going to give away that free bicycle. So on October 1st, we're going to announce the winner of the Stranger package. So tell your friends, um, subscribe, comment as many as you can because in all the videos, uh, you'll, you'll actually be entered. So if you go on other videos that we created, you know, we leave a comment on there and that'll also enter you and give you a better chance of winning the parts package and the bicycle. And then after we hit 5,000, we're gonna be doing some more contests and stuff like that, helping you guys get on the road and ride bikes and everything. But uh, thank you very much for viewing. Check out stackbmx.com. You can check out me on Instagram at uh, Can't Stop LA. My name is Larry Alvarado. I own the shop and uh, trying to get more kids on bikes. Then you could uh, check out our Instagram at Stack BMX shop. You can check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash uh, stack BMX shop. And um, yeah, and then YouTube, just youtube.com forward slash stack BMX. You guys might already be here. But thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow or maybe the next day, but uh, as much as possible. Have a good night.